so on. But there are also other objectives that need to be pursued, right. which may be in detriment to economics. Okay, yep. so it's not up to, to me or to economists to say anything about this, but the appeal that the multilateral institutions uh, make is to keep in sight that these things are costly. They cost in terms of uh, poor gun GDP and so on. Xu uh, Jiang, let's talk about China. China will release its numbers for the first quarter next week. Uh, Goldman Sachs, the investment bank, revised its projection for year and year economic growth for the first quarter and for the year to 5%. Um, that's well above the global average. What are your expectations? I think 5% is a fair number. Uh, for some of us, 5% is not a binding target. But I think the government actually, you know, give it a round down number about 5%. Well, according to our experience of last year, uh, it's also been set the target at 5%, but eventually it turns out to be 5.2%. Actually, uh, you know, by numbers, I'm very confident about this target to be achieved again by the end of this year. For example, if I take a look at the facilities being utilized by the Central Bank of China, uh, we have some of the uh, rep up investment, you know, from the end of last year, which is makes about like uh, 2 trillion Chinese yuan. And also, at the beginning of the year, actually after two sessions, we confirmed about another, like, five or six trillion Chinese yuan. And also, come after that, we're going to have a lot of other facilities, for example, like loans from the central bank. <笑>お昼のお昼で<笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑> 